Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Here we are. Over at Gritgate. We are here with Kukat. Last time we picked up Carapace. Which I was kind of, uh, I wasn't very happy about. But you know what, it's one of those things. When you buy a new, uh, mutation, you never know what you're gonna get. We did get out of it a arm face. So, uh, if we can equip another pair of these, uh, rank fangs at some point. And we are, of course, going for a full limb build here. Today we're going to start by fighting our way down to Gritgate and speaking with the Baraphromites for the first time. And, uh, we shall see where we go from there. Let's, uh, let's get into it, shall we? We've got lots of, uh, enemies here. Lots of different types of enemies, and there's also a lot of potential um, in Gritgate to pick up some pretty nice loot, actually. As well as a lot of tinkering parts. This guy's annoying. Nice. There he goes. Alright. And again, all of these numbers we uh, we used a. You can check in the description for the mod we're using. We have the better damage numbers mod, which tells us the XP, the amount of times we hit, the penetration, and the damage. If that's too much, please let me know. I can uh, I disable it, or I can reduce it. Okay. Why don't we cook something up? We'll go canned have it all for randomness, and we'll go lar petals as well. We got level 1 burgeoning and 2 mental armor. Nice. We haven't really spoken about mental armor so far. Um, again, you can check my Caves of Cut tutorial um, if you want to learn a little bit about mental armor. This is essentially uh, in the way that your AV, your armor value, is how much uh, you defend against you know, physical attacks. This is how you defend against mental attacks. So obviously the higher the better. Um, you can actually increase this by leveling up your willpower as well. Um, burgeoning is also quite nice, even at level one. Why don't we uh, why don't we use a little burgeoning here? Just see what we get. Burgeoning is actually one of my favorite abilities. And it is, of course, leveled up because we have high ego. Under normal circumstances, a Chimera could never get burgeoning because this is a mental mutation. Um, good thing about burgeoning as well is if you have decent ego and you have it high enough level, the cooldown goes down to like five turns. It's actually insane how quickly you can fill the map with plants. And as you can see, our, uh, okay. they are making tumbling pods, so be careful of those. I have lost more runs than I can count from blowing myself up inadvertently with those guys. So just something to keep in mind there. And again, why don't we use a little burgeoning action here, just to see what we can get. Okay, the crab is dazed, and the crab is down. I repeat, the crab is down. Now, you are a spark tick. We are friendly with you. Why is that? Do we have insect rep? I'm assuming those belong to the... In no, they're definitely not insects. Why are, you, why are you my friend, buddy? Oh, you're, are you, do you belong to the spider faction, Pat, or the arachnids? I think that is what's happening. I think this belongs to the arachnids. Either way, it's 150 XP. <laughs> um, all right, what do we have here? We have a freezing steel battle axe with a chem cell. We'll take that out. Um, we can, we can take all of this. We're pretty lightweight at the moment. Okay, so, I am going to equip the pickaxe here, and set this as my main weapon for a moment by pressing tab. 
And now that we've done that, if we... If we auto-explore, we can dig through all of these walls. Okay, we didn't happen to find anything, but it's always worth doing. Let's go back to our spiral horn. Our penetration value is now 9, which is really nice. 2d4 damage. And let's make sure that we re-equip the dagger here. We're waiting for good batteries to use these. Still dagger is fine for now, I think. Alright, let's go downstairs. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series so far. Oh, by the way, these livid creepers, these are from our burgeoning. They have the ability to actually follow you through floors, and they're, they're, they actually hit really hard. They can only attach to walls, but if we stand here, for example, they will come over. I'll try and show you. They will come over and help us out. All right, good stuff. You see that, that one's attacking the crab right now? Check out these centipedes here. We're still getting decent XP from fighting these guys. Lovely stuff. Let's pop down a burgeoning because why not? Guys bleeding out. I wouldn't mind taking out that spark tick. Spark tick monkeys. My favorite band in CUD. Uh, also this guy. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Alright, we get 35 XP for killing each of those, which is pretty good. We are moving ever closer to uh, level 15 here. Okay, let's, uh, let's do the same thing again with the pickaxe. Like I said, you know, we're going to be taking our time a bit more in this playthrough. I'm going to be trying to explain everything. Again, we'll go pickaxe. And of course, you can go through these doors if you have a key card. Uh, which we don't. But it can be worth it, as you can see. We just picked up uh, some grenades and a basic toolkit. Are you mine? No. There we go. Alright, nowhere else to mine into, so we can uh, we can remove that now. Let's go down to the next layer. We no longer have burgeoning. Our hunger is past. Alright, let's charge the uh, slugs now if we can. Good stuff. We want to try and kill things before uh, everybody else kills them and takes their XP, you know? Uh, what do we have here? We have a steel dagger again. Nice. We have a copper nugget. Okay, see this room here? This is, this is what I call the god room. Look at all of these chests. I'm going to take out all of these enemies first. And then we're going to loot. Interesting, we got a Templar down here.
Uh, did he die? No, he teleported. Okay, let's slug chrome revolver. Loads of bits. Alright, let's see what we got here. We got carbide longsword. That would be very good if we were using long blade. Uh, a salve injector, silver nugget. Silver nugget is worth 50 drams. Some fix it spray foam and another carbide weapon. Just loads of trade goods. This here is a plastic tree. These are annoying. I'm going to pick it up for now. Uh, later on, I'm going to disassemble them as we find them. A compass bracelet. This will help prevent us getting lost. Reduces the chance of getting lost by 10%, as you can see. Thermal grenades. Now, once we level up, and if we take... It looks like that uh, Templar died, by the way. This is their corpse. Alright, well, you know what? Let's pick up the, uh, the carbide longsword. Oh, by the way, if you don't know how I'm doing it, I am looting... Uh, normally, you can stand on top of things to loot them by pressing G. If you have to loot things uh, when you're not stood on top of them, so any of the adjacent eight squares around you, you can just press uh, Control Space to open the context menu, then it will say Interact, and you just press in the direction, and you can loot things that way. Um, what are we wearing on our feet? We are wearing erstwhile Union. They're not bad. I mean, they're not technically as good as these engraved steel boots, but uh, we do lose a lot of dodge value. I'm also considering taking that steel shield because we do have shield skill. Anyway, what I was going to say... Oh, and by the way, these spiked steel gauntlets, if you ever want to do a punching build, uh, these are great. We're going to come back here at some point um, once we have the scavenging skill and pick up all of this this is all trash all of this stuff you see here it's gonna be a lot of bits hiding amongst that all right let's keep moving uh let's take this guy out even though he's our friend come on i just want to kill the slugs now damn it there we go. Oh, actually, I hit the droid. My bad. <laughs> Sorry, friend. Ooh, this is going to be an electro bow. You can tell because of the uh, the icon. All right, cool. See what I mean? There's some decent loot down here in Gritgate. Not all the time, but a lot of the time. Okay, here we go. This should level us up. Bunch of these guys. These guys can crack your armor, so keep that in mind. There we go. Level 15. We get an attribute point. Our genome becomes excited again. Starting at level 5, you get the first excited. And then every 10 levels after that. So 15, 25, etc. Uh, we are going to go horn. This is going to make us considerably stronger now. You see, we have uh, we have level 7 horn right now. And I think... I mean, we do need to work on carapace. There's no delaying. Um, I think I would like more multiple arms for now. Any, anything that improves our chance to uh, attack with our offhand is going to be huge. So let's, uh, let's just go multiple arms. With our attribute point, um, we can really put this anywhere we want. I, th I think, you know, I've been going agility for now. More agility is always good. Intelligence would give us more skill points. Not by much, but it is retroactive. Um, and it will take us to 20. Now, there's nothing... There's not re There's not really a benefit of being level 20 um, intelligence. You unlock Tinker 1 at 19 intelligence. And Tinker 2 doesn't come until 23. It will, of course, make it a lot more achievable for us to get... 
if we go to 27, we can unlock well, multi-weapon mastery. But I have double muscled for leveling strength. You know what? I'll sell for Tinker 1. I'm happy to have just Tinker 1 for now. There's other ways to get attribute points. We can now save up for multi-weapon mastery. But the first thing I want to buy is disassemble. This is very important if you're taking tinkering. This is going to allow us to actually have bits, finally. So all of this scrap that we've been collecting, we can just disassemble all of this now. Uh, I will do it once we've cleared this floor, however. And just out of curiosity, let's see our um, spiral horn. It's gone from doing 2d4 damage to 2d5, which might not seem like a lot, but with uh, a higher penetration value, that scales really well. All right, we are we are done with this floor, and Grit Gate is literally right over here, right up here. Before we do that, let's uh, disassemble all of this stuff. You can just hold down space to disassemble everything here. Uh, there we go. And now, if we press N to go to our tinkering menu, you can see we have a uh, our first uh, bunch of bits. We also now have the uh, opportunity, and I do recommend doing this, to go to, for example, if we didn't want to pick up chrome revolvers all the time, because they, we, we, we don't get many much value out of them, you can now press capital S to treat them as scrap, which means in future you'll just rip them apart instead of picking them up. Um, one thing I recommend always doing that with is the... Where did it go? Here. The folding chairs, these are annoying, they weigh one pound each. Uh, I just sat down, I pressed the wrong button there actually. <laughs> but um, here, treat as scrap, capital S. Oh, it's because my caps lock is on, my bad. There we go. So now we can disassemble these. I'm going to save some space in our inventory. Same with the plastic tree, I'm going to mark these as uh, scrap. Gonna disassemble all of these. Beautiful. Alright, cool. Let's go speak to these Baraphromites. Here we are. You speak to them here. And they now give you the quest to go to Golgotha. Which is our first real dungeon, to be honest. Um, they will also let you in to do some trading with Mafeo. Now, if you didn't pick up the pickaxe um, beneath Joppa, you can buy a guaranteed pickaxe here from Mafeo. He also sells pretty much all the lead slugs you'll ever need. Um, a thousand at a time. Pretty good. They're also, I mean, a thousand lead slugs is 18 drams. Very, very affordable. Everything else is still pretty expensive. Uh, I don't think we have snake oiler yet, so we don't get good prices on, on things. This folded carbide dagger would be really nice for us. I think we're going to buy that. Lastly, you always want to buy... You see a small stone like this? This is a recoiler, which will uh, allow us to teleport back here. So let's purchase these. Anything that we don't need here, I'm going to get rid of. Like all of these grenades right now. And anything that we're not using that isn't these uh, gas like Chris's or the Vibro Dagger. Are you selling chem cells? If you sell chem cells, you are not selling chem cells. Okay, fair enough. These credit wedges are worth a lot of money. But they don't weigh much, so I'm going to keep them on me for now. I will get rid of the Electro Bow. Electro is a good ranged weapon. Uh, it's just, it's not for me. It has great penetration. 
it just eats through charge quite quickly, I find. And since we have a little money overflow there, we will also invest maybe in the... Maybe in the silver nugget. We'll spend 30 of our water to even up this trade, which is fine by me. Okay. So now if we ID this small stone, you can see it's a grit gate recoiler. And it even comes with a chem cell. Not bad. Okay, we now have a whole bunch of uh, lead slugs. And best of all, we can now equip the folded carbide dagger here, which is a much better weapon. Better penetration, better damage. 50% chance to hit with that. Eventually what we want is to maybe get rid of the hover sled and have a floating light source so we can use this final hand here as well for another dagger. Also, whilst I'm here in Gritgate, it can sometimes be kind of... Uh... Oh, what's going on? Oh, this guy's killing the... Uh... Okay, thank you for the chem cell. If you look around the edges of Gritgate, let me see if I can find an example. Let's go up another layer here. Ah, okay. No such luck. But sometimes you can wander off the edge of Gritgate. And um, you can get some really nice loot. In fact, I'm tempted just to show you. Let me um, let me equip the pickaxe again and I'll show you kind of what I'm talking about. We will have to mine our way into the next map, but it shouldn't be too hard. All right, there we go. Let's go back to using... Okay, it says you can't switch whilst in combat. Let's fall back a moment here so we can... Yeah, you see there's a centipede coming. Nice shot, by the way. We do... St Ugh, we're not in combat, are we? We do need... We need to buy into a ranged weapon tree at some point. I probably will go pistol. I'm a big, big fan of the pistol. Anyway, let me show you what I mean. You explore these zones, you can make a bunch of uh, XP. Grab more stuff, grab more loot also, like this. The deeper you go in card, the harder the, uh, the enemies get. Keep that in mind. There are also obviously certain zones that uh, are just inherently more difficult than others. Uh, there we go, Isocar Rifle, for example. And a number one bit, our first number one bit. You can see now that we have Disassemble, we will start automatically disassembling those bits. And then once we have Scavenger, we can start rifling through trash and getting even more. Okay, we got some... You know what, I'm just going to take this. I'm not going to worry about the other stuff. We are, of course, hungry again. Um, we go, we go, we'll go double jam. We we'll go crazy for jam right now. What do we got? Whenever you salve or uber nostrum injector, you expel quills. Okay, not very useful, but thank you anyway. A sturdy steel knife and a silver nugget. Okay. Obviously, there's a stairway up and down here as well. This is going to... Up will take us back to the surface. Down will take us, uh, like, adjacent to Gritgate. And I am going to explore these, just because they, there's a good chance of decent loot down here. And we want to take out all of these spiders here. To get maximum loot. Maximum XP, I should say. Just be aware that electric damage in card deals a ridiculous amount of damage to the player. There we go. Oh, 
Right, good stuff. More bits. Love to see it. Now, if we if we wanted to, we could get the pickaxe out and start mining through. Aha! Hello, we have a Templar Squire here. He's got carbide longsword. The same with a sting. And then a flurry. He is dust. And we will grab the carbide longsword. Ah, and we got teleported. Interesting. Okay, cool. There's a little detour there. And we are back on the surface. Now we are in the jungle. A little bit under leveled for the jungle, so keep that in mind. So, do we have wayfaring? I think we took salt dune, didn't we? Yeah. Well, how about we go drop off some of the stuff back at the still and see if there's anything nice there for us. Okay, we do have tumbling pods around here, it looks like. Be real careful. It's a great way of accidentally dying. There we go, chain reaction. Easy. You can quite often find, uh, yeah, you gotta be real careful of these tumbling pods, like I said. Try and charge them. This spider wasn't in the way. There we go. Yeah, I recommend always being uh, kind of cautious in the flower fields. Ooh, do we have a legendary bird here? These are uh, just a bunch of glow crows just chilling. Normally that would indicate maybe a legendary being here. Not necessarily though. We do know we have a turret up here. Okay, see if we can outshoot it. Of course, I forgot to reload. Classic. Classic Rograt Gaming. Okay. Let's not forget we have Temporal Fugue from our Legendary Axe that we picked up, by the way. Could come in handy if we get in a, a spot of bother. Let's keep exploring here. Okay, we got a bear, we got a chameleon, nothing too worrying. Alright, not bad. Yep, just a bunch of glow crows for some reason. Okay, so what's the deal with this? Okay, this is a juice uh, sap. You need to kill those guys quickly because they will steal all of the energy out of your batteries. Which is really annoying. Okay, another slug snout there. We are of course lost here, so we need to find our way out. Alright, that's a rifle turret tinkerer. Don't, uh, don't ever underestimate turrets. Especially chain gun turrets. Even the chain gun turrets can mess up a kind of mid-game character if you're not careful. Okay. Hopefully that guy didn't have a chance to put down any more... Uh, turrets anywhere. I think we may have got them all. Let's go cider and worm jerky. One of my favorite meals. Quickness and max HP. That's pretty good. Quickness is incredible. 
Come on, you regain your bearings. We still haven't regained our bearings, that's fine. Okay, we've got a bunch of snap jaws here. And a chest. Two chests. What is this? High explosive grenade? We'll take all of that, sure. We'll leave that. <laughs> we'll leave the garbage in the chest. No offense. Hey, there we go. Get me out of here. Alright, we're back in the desert. Much better. Now, I don't think we picked up any Resha floor since we were last here, but it's always worth checking. Yeah, we didn't. And I don't think we have any books. Uh, we have... Yeah, we have one book. So what I do want to do is just check the book binder before we go to Golgotha, which we'll probably do next time. Always check what they have. Succulents. Um, that one's not a good page. I don't ever really worry about being friends with succulents, believe it or not. Bunch of stuff there that we cannot build. And like I said, we always like to check the chefs in particular, and the, the chefs and the kippers and the icon merchants. Come on. Give me something. Please. What about you? What do you have? You have also nothing. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much for wasting my time. Uh, okay. We do have a lot of schematics drafters, which is obviously incredible. Let's wake this guy up. Uh, you have lacquered. Uh, that's not something we really worry about. Lacquer just makes your stuff waterproof, if you were wondering. Ooh, okay. Chapter unspecified, Schrodinger page. This is what I said you always want to keep your eye out for here. Um, I would love to purchase this right now if we could get away with it. Let's see. It's often a little tricky before you have a snake oiler. But we might be able to pull it off. We need 510 drams here. It's going to take pretty much everything we have. Um, I think I'm going to equip the semi automatic pistol. I actually forgot we had that. Get rid of the neck rings and the beaded bracelets. Yeah, we can get this no problem. Nice. So this chapter unspecified page, which by the way you will find them under the miscellaneous um, tab, we can select who we want to garner rep with. Now I actually was thinking of doing something crazy for this playthrough. Um, I think I'm going to save it for now. I was thinking about getting some mollusk rep, which would allow us to do to eat a certain food, which would transform us. But I don't think it's worth it. Not on this particular playthrough. I'm happy to do it in the future. Because this is more of a tutorial run, we're not going to eat the cloaca surprise. I'm going to say it right now. I was thinking about doing it. I don't think I will. Um, so... What we could start doing, uh, important ones, robots, trolls, trolls less important, but I like troll rep, uh, robots, trolls, and oozes. Oozes are uh, very important. Uh, I probably will use this on oozes, if I'm being honest. Being, um, being friends with oozes makes the game considerably less stressful. I'm just going to use it now. I'm not going to clone it. I'm not going to hold on to it. I'm just going to use it with oozes. You just entangle it. You select the faction. There you go. 190 increase there. Taking us to 360. We use one more on oozes and we will be good with them. They will leave us alone. 
Okay, the chef doesn't have anything. Uh, another schematics drafter here. It, they're always worth checking, I suppose. Even though I don't think we really have much money to spend now. Some nice stuff, but nothing we can buy. And I think this is the last important person to check here, this Kipper. Who doesn't really have anything that I want. Yeah, okay, we do have one more schematic draft. We actually have an, such an obscene amount. Alright, awesome. So let's get out of here. You can see we now have the quest to go to Golgotha. Uh, if we, we, I mean, we could try and do it now. It would very much depend. I normally don't recommend going at level 15. Um, would be nice. Not going to lie. Would be very nice. I think with 9 AV, it may not be a good idea. And it really depends. When you get to Golgotha, you have a choice of... Uh, oh, we found a Dromad. You have a, a choice of holes to jump down into. And there's one hole in particular that is makes the game really, really annoying. Um, so it would very much depend on that. We would be flipping a coin, so to speak. Or rolling a dice is probably a better analogy because I think there's actually four four holes you can jump down. So why don't we go? Uh, why don't we go dune hopping here? We find an asphalt weep. Okay. Well, if we ever need any asphalt, we know where to go. It does look like there's a chest hidden behind a rock here. Not hidden, but just just happened to spawn behind a rock. Um. This rubble. Need to uh, mine through it. So let's equip the pickaxe. Uh, hopefully you guys are understanding now just how valuable a pickaxe is. And there are other ways of removing stuff like this. You could use like corrosive gas or burrowing claws as well. But me, I'm a simple man. I, I, I like a good pickaxe, you know. A dual encrusted longsword. Okay. Okay, we are we are famished, as usual. Okay. What I'm looking for right now are books. I won't do it too much right now. I think we could spend our time better elsewhere, but. Oh yeah, I did say I was going to equip the semi-auto pistol, right? Ah, it's broken. Okay, that would be why I didn't equip it earlier. We can get that repaired, no problem. This guy's popped a salve injector, which is why he's healing right now. Unfortunately, he couldn't out-heal being charged. Um... I will start grabbing these Isakar rifles. They are fairly heavy, but they do have a number two bit. I'll probably rip that apart at some point. Yay, a little bit of a uh, little bit of book there. There is a seed sprout worm here, which is really annoying. They kind of trap you. I'm just gonna leave. I think, oh, we found the lair of a legendary Isakari Rifler. That's actually pretty good. I like to check out legendary lairs because uh, you never know who they might have rep with. I mean, what if they have, uh, what if they're disliked by oozes and we kill them and we get a whole bunch of ooze rep, you know? Grab that rifle, grab this rifle. This guy dropped uh, a small muddy tube, which is a rubber gum injector. Okay. Nice, nice shot, my friend. Okay. 
Okay, more rifles. Guy has a flaming bronze dagger with no with no battery. Okay. Good stuff. All right. That's probably enough for the Isokar rifles. Uh, they sell okay. I'm mostly picking them up because uh, I want to disassemble them, you know? Some engraved stuff there. Try not to take these... You know, it's easy to feel comfortable when you hit so hard, but if those guys get enough uh, crits on you... It can uh, it can be difficult. All right, let's go downstairs. Maybe let's cook before we do that. We'll go croc jerky, dawn glider tail. Whenever you deal fire damage, rubbish. Okay, would be good if we had fire attack, but we don't. Okay, there's going to be fungus down here, which is very very unfortunate. Looks like we have a legendary seed spin. No, he's a friend of fungi. Okay, never mind. So last thing we want to do here is turn a corner and have uh, one of these guys in front of us and get a fungal infection. Okay, are you the legendary or are you just a you're just a friend of fungi? Okay, let's let these guys come to us here. Uh, I got another glow sphere here. These are always worth picking up if only to sell them. Same with the luminous horse room. All right, that's definitely enough Isokar rifles there. Yeah, see, we can't go that way. We can't go this way. We actually may be trapped here. Yep. Okay. They have spored. We're going to have to leave. I do not want to deal with having a fungal infection right now. Um... Unless we have a fungicide grenade. We do not. Okay. Cool. We're just going to drop all of these Isokar rifles um, in here for now. Let me know if you'd like me to, as always, I always ask, let me know if you want me to do the trading uh, off camera. Um, or if you want to see it. You've got lots of money waiting here. Oh, we'll keep this on us. All right, I'm going to go back to Joppa and I'm going to just get Argive to, hey, we found another lair. I'm going to get Argive to repair our um, legendary glowfish. Okay, that's cool. Get Argive to repair the semi-auto pistol for us. Why did you stop? Oh, okay. Because of that guy, probably. Alright. We'll, we'll find this legendary glowfish. We'll see what their deal is. Some sewage eels down here. Got to be careful who you attack down here. Sometimes you can uh, you can annoy the friendlies. Grab some wine. Let's go downstairs. Hate these guys with a passion. They steal my precious water. Okay. Wow, this is this place goes pretty deep, huh? Okay. Oh, there's a uh, a hermit over there. Okay, you are the legendary glowfish. Um, admired by the mechanists. That's actually great. 
This guy's definitely getting um the water ritual. There you go. Fish rep gone to 300. We are now favoured by the Mechanimus, which is great. That's going to make life easier uh, should we make it to the Bethesda Sousa quest. Fish are now indifferent to me as well, which is lovely stuff. Uh, another Electro Bow. And a Skull Conjector. And a Steel Mace. Alright, cool. Let's get out of here. And, uh, you know, I am I am feeling brave. I mean, I would love to just be able to go to Joppa here. Okay, we found some ruins. I'm very... I'm, oh, Reshef floor, that's good. I'm very tempted for us to just peek into the jungle. We'll probably do it mostly next episode. We're gonna we're gonna go into the jungle. Uh, the reason for that is twofold. Once you hit like level 15, 16, 17, 18, um, it's a great place, firstly, to get experience. Uh, it's a great place to get XP. No, 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 no. Get out of the bed. Cook. There we go. Uh, but it's also a really great place for us to collect uh, a bunch of decent loot. The goat folk sometimes have, like, carbide uh, gear. There's really only the goat folk sewers and the shamans that we need to be weary of. Okay, we find more ruins. Okay, somebody's going crazy shooting arrows down here. It's almost definitely a, a hermit, because I see boomrose arrows, which are explosive arrows. Beaded bracelet, nice. Alright, cool. More ruins, sure, we'll go. Always go to ruins. Even if you don't intend to do anything, it's, it's worth just marking their uh, location. Ah, we have a rifle turret. We have a bunch of them. What the hell? Where did they come from? Is there a rifle turret tinker here? This is actually a pretty, pretty crappy situation. No idea where those things came from. Yeah, there's probably a rifle turret tinker around here somewhere. Yeah, that's a lot of dudes. Charge is invaluable for dealing with stuff like that. Alright, what do we got here? Copper nuggets, some more books. Good stuff. Uh, we just picked up a folding chair, but we ripped it apart because we set it to uh, disassemble. Okay. Back in Joppa. Let's get Argive to... Oh, we picked up the mechanical wings. We must have found Argive's apprentice. It's actually the second pair, I think, that we've had, right? Can you repair this for me, buddy? For five drams of water, what a bargain. And you are selling the recipes for co-processor, nulling, and polarized. Uh, and a tri-hologram bracelet recipe. Okay. We can't learn any of those mods, unfortunately. We are too low of a level. And you don't really have anything, but we I would like some a uh, little bit more water, I think. Let's get rid of the low chem cell. Yeah, so let's um let's try and make our way over to what I like to do for the jungle is find a jungle that's adjacent to another biome and just like poke my head in and make sure that I have a a, a way to run away if we're still 
weak. My only concern is that we um we have low armor value. We do really good damage for our level though. There we go. So like this part of the jungle here, for example. So we're just we're just gonna Okay, more ruins, nice. What the heck just happened there? Oh hello. There's a howler. Those guys that guy dropped a carbide folding hammer. So these are like the next tier of Snapjaw. Always happy to fight these guys. They do have slightly better loot. Although again, they can hit hard. They they have the ability to poison you. And we have a legendary Snapjaw here. Who do we have? Disliked by Dromad merchants and hated by the Id Freehold. That's actually great for us. I want rep with both of those guys. Especially the Freehold. Um There we go. We killed a Snapjaw King. Lovely stuff. We'll also now equip the uh, semi-automatic pistol. There we go. Okay, let's make sure we uh, we don't mess around with these guys. Come on. Easy. Um, square cap. That will uh, increase your intelligence and your ego. Of course, we can't use it because we have horns. Pretty nice, though. We also have a carbide battle axe there. And we have the folded carbide hammer here. We'll grab all of this. So we could actually start equipping the axes if we want. I'm I'm honestly not against it. Why don't we uh oh, more rush air floor? That's actually gonna be great for getting us a level up. So for example, um this still dagger here, 20% chance to hit. If we equip the uh, Carbide Battle Axe, still 20% chance to hit. It won't get a second hit if it does proc, but it does do more damage for now. So let's let's keep that equipped. Anyway, what I was saying, this this jungle tile right here, this borders the uh, the canyons here. So we're actually going to go in. Remember, you get put in the center, Parasang, or the center square. Okay, we have Go Folk right off the bat. I actually wasn't expecting that. Uh, all right. As a final thing, let's see how we fare against these guys. We're going to hit them with uh, everything we have. This guy's poisoned and bleeding and dazed. So let's start melting the other guy here. You're still dazed. That's great. Okay, we're doing great damage. One down. 375 XP for that. Okay, well that's really promising, you know. So when we return, we'll do a little bit of farming here in the jungle with the goat folk. Try not to get ourselves blown up, of course. Um, and then we will attempt to go to Golgotha. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoy Caves of Cud content, please let me know. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.